Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and we have some very, very exciting news today. Now, although I can't go in detail on a lot of these things, what I can do is talk about the stuff that has already been revealed by one of the community managers, EW Magels. Now, we've got a pretty amazing update coming Tuesday, and this is a little bit of a rundown of some of the stuff that you guys can expect that uh, they've already kind of talked about in Discord, but I know not everybody here that watches the videos is actually a part of their Discord, so some of you may have missed this little update that came through. So the post has started off, happy Friday, call the wild hunters. We have some exciting news to finish off the week, including a content update incoming, hints, and community plans for November. The first thing they mention is that a great big content and service update will be released next Tuesday across PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. And you guys heard that right, we are getting a simultaneous release for this update, which is a huge move in the right direction. It's an absolutely huge positive for the game, and I'm extremely excited to see that this is going to be happening. A lot of people have had uh, quite a few complaints about consoles getting the patches a little bit later than PC, and sometimes over a month later. It looks like that's not going to be a thing this time. We're all going to get it at the exact same time, which is absolutely huge. I'm super glad that they were able to uh, actually get this to work the way that everybody wanted it to. Uh, this patch will include a number of quality life improvements and bug fixes, including those mentioned in our community update a couple weeks ago. And though I can't go into detail on what the bug fixes and stuff are, let me just say that you guys are going to be very, very happy to see a lot of the stuff that's getting fixed. This is going to be probably one of the best patches that Call of the Wild has had in a little bit of time when it comes to uh, just the vast improvements that are going to be made, and I'm extremely excited to uh, see what everything's actually going to be like once it goes live. The next thing that is mentioned in the post is Apex Connect is coming to Call of the Wild. This is a big first step towards more live in-game functionality and freedoms like in-game rewards, player reporting, events, multiplayer invites, and friends lists, and news updates. Keep your eyes peeled for more information next Tuesday. So this is going to be huge. Uh, from what I understand, this is going to be a pretty big deal for Call of the Wild. And it's going to make it so they can do a lot of amazing things in the future, like mentioned in this post that uh, Magels put out. Things like the in-game rewards and player reporting are huge, and but I think the biggest thing out of all of this is the fact that we will be able to get news updates through the game instead of through something like Discord or social media. Because a lot of people in the Call of the Wild community, believe it or not, do not use social media or something like Discord. So a lot of people don't really get the news updates and like the patch notes as easily as some. So this is going to be huge, being able to just put it through the game. It's going to be a huge positive for Call of the Wild. And as far as player reporting, I know a lot of people are going to be happy with that. Now whenever we run into a hacker in multiplayer, we can actually report them. Or if somebody's just being a racist, then you can also report them too. So there's going to be a lot of uh, good that's going to come out of this as well. The second to last thing that is mentioned in the post is the moment many of you have been waiting for is also arriving next Tuesday. We're not going to tell you what they're for, but we've added a few new hints for you to find. Don't forget to share your search adventures with us here on the socials. So they are going to be adding in some new hints for a future content update. And as you guys know, this is going to be another pretty exciting thing. The last time they did some clues, it turned out to be uh, Rancho Del Arroyo. So I wonder what it's going to be this time. But come Tuesday, we'll be able to find those clues. And the last thing that is mentioned in the post is that there's going to be a couple big community competitions and events coming up this month. Stay tuned because more details are coming soon. We've been very busy, so this is going to be pretty cool. I don't think they've ever done community competitions and events. Not that I can remember at least, so that's going to be something new and it's going to be pretty cool to experience. I'm very interested to get more details about that. So based off of just the things that were posted here, this is going to be a pretty insane update, and I'm sure they're not even mentioning everything. I'm super excited to see what's going to be coming to the game on Tuesday. This is going to be such a great update, I can already tell. Not to mention, we also have one more clue as to what's going to be coming Tuesday that I'm allowed to mention to you guys. And I've already mentioned this a few times during one of the live streams because a lot of you were wanting a hint and, well, we were given the go to kind of give you guys a hint. So the only hint that I'm allowed to give you guys, and I think it's a pretty good hint, is that something great 
is going to be coming Tuesday and that you need to pay attention to Hirschfelden and New Zealand. So I got a feeling that come Tuesday there's going to be a lot of people out on Hirschfelden and Tiabaroa. You guys can already guarantee that I'm going to be out on Tiabaroa considering it's a top three map for me. It's always been one of my favorite maps and I'm excited that we're going to be able to uh, go there on Tuesday and hopefully find some cool stuff. So. I guess that's about it for this little update video, but I figured I'd kind of try to keep you guys in the loop with everything that's been talked about in the uh, community post that Magel's put out in the Discord because there's a lot of awesome details and I really think this is going to be a fantastic update. But until it actually comes out, we're going to continue hunting for the uh, Great One on Rancho Del Arroyo and then also grind for the Melanistic Red Deer on Tiawaroa. But once this update comes out, we'll see what it brings, and that's probably going to change our route. But if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys think this update is going to bring, just based off of the stuff that I've read off of here. I think there's going to be a lot of cool stuff, and I'm curious what you guys are thinking about this update so far. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.